All right. So this is part two to reading the human design chart. We started with the chart properties first and didn't really get to the actual chart. But now is the part where I'll explain the middle, like the actual body. And it's kind of not, it's not much to explain, but once you actually do research, it's kind of self-explanatory. So I'm gonna start with a short explanation of what these things could even mean at all. And again, I'll leave the picture up of my chart so you'll follow along and I'm here looking at my computer in front of me. So you'll see some of these things on my charts are empty and then some of them are colored in. There are lines that are colored in dark and then there are some lines that are colored in kind of like gray. So we'll start, honestly, let's start with the meaning. So each one of these different shapes is a different part of your body. It kind of remind me of the chakras, like in your body. And honestly, it's all connected. So again, that's why I love it. It connects everything I already loved and was learning. But starting from the head, these shapes, they're all a different part of you and they all have different like aspects of your life. Like I, that's a basic three to each of them. Um, I put them up on the screen. I saved them, but I know they don't tell you here. But again, let's go. So the crown is really where your inspiration comes from. And a lot of people don't have this one colored in, not besides from manifestors, but honestly, this is a like inspiration from the divine. So like, not the, well, it depends on what you believe in, source, divine, God. So it will come inspiration, come straight down to the crown. So that's why a lot of manifestors are creative and do have this here and it honestly helps. So here, let's start simply. If it's filled in, that means I have these qualities already in myself and I'm able to, like, I'm strong in them. And the ones that are empty and blank, they are open to conditioning from the outside world. So like, let's see, this is your G-Center, love and direction. Mine is empty. So yeah, my whole life, I didn't know what I wanted to do. It took me a while. And then at some point when I actually found love, I didn't know what love was. And it took me a while. I just within like months have figured out oh these people actually love me and these people thought they love me i guess i don't know what they got going on but that's not love it's not right and that was the condition that i let people tell me what it was and so i was just like okay but then when i actually figured out what it was for myself i was like bro you gone get away from me I, hey hey what but again it wasn't really it was on them but again it after I realized it opened my eyes, it's like, obviously, you had to know better. I was just conditioned to think that half the stuff that was being done was okay. But again, you'll, you'll, that was just explanation. So you can kind of get what I'm trying to say. But for each center, let's start from the top. So this is the crown inspiration, simply. Um, next, you'll have the on, the on, I call it on. I'm not good at pronouncing some things, but idea. So being able to you know formulate ideas now you have the throat communication so i like my mind well it's filled in so i'm good at communicator i can get the things out that i need to get out some people if you don't have this filled in you might feel like it's hard for you to say some things and to talk and get things off you just out your throat in general like okay next we'll go to the spleen which is instinct again mine's filled in we have the root for pressure mine's filled in the solar plexus is the emotions. You have your sacral, mind empty for desires. Again, I didn't know what I want or desired at all. So I, of course, this whole center just being empty was like, like crazy for me once I figured out what was going on. And then here we have the ego and motivation. So in the G center is love and direction again. It's a flow. My chart, you see these arrows right here. This means my chart has easy flow, which honestly, Again, I don't. <laughs> it's the definition. You'll see it on your chart. But yeah, so let's get into it a little more. These dark black lines, that means that is parts of your personality that everybody, well, yourself and along with, well, honestly, yeah, yourself and everybody can see. If it's connected, like my Anya, my ideas to my throat communication is connected. So I'm able to easily take an idea that I have in formulate it into something that's able to come out and people can understand which is a blessing i love that so you see that those are the dark lines like i could go in and explain every single one of mine but you'll it's kind of once you get the gist of it it kind of gets self-explanatory like see 
of I have another dark line from my throat communication all the way down to my spleen instinct it goes back and forth so you don't have to just look at it from the top to the bottom because sometimes I look at it from here to here so if I have something instinctively that it's just like uh it's not right then again from my spleen to my throat communication I'll say it I don't like something just doesn't feel right so yeah it's a no or you know that type of stuff instinct to my throat but you'll see that on your chart the dark lines things you can see things that are obvious now we move on to the gray line sometimes you have a mixture as well but again it still stands the same like even if it's like halfway i don't know if i think about my chart now and think about the things i actually healed and worked on in my body because that's the thing you have power in your emptiness these parts that are empty that's where if you work on like if i worked on my love and direction yeah now that i have it's strong as you work on yourself you can't see it but these lines start filling in themselves or they might get darker or you know that like that but of course your basic chart will always be the same in your basic chart because this is where you started but looking at it again once you start learning and figuring out stuff and feeling things out you'll understand that like this is like it's the same but it will be different because you'll use it to your power back to this so yep that was the dark lines we'll look at the grayish lines like the lighter lines and again they'll connect to numbers each one of these numbers is a different thing and they mean different things i'm still learning about that honestly every day but honestly google and google has all your answers if you want to get specific down to the nitty-gritty like it's good nitty-gritty if you let it so but you also don't have to let it get nitty-gritty and you still be perfectly fine so again we'll start with the gray lines the crown to the ideas so these gray lines are your design the parts of yourself that are unconscious and that you don't see in yourself or you may not recognize it that easy but again people on the outside see these parts in you even if you don't see them out in yourself sometimes they again go halfway just like the other ones but as you work on yourself you can fill it in you know but it just you know won't visibly fill in uh let's read hmm, this one so pressure let's start with the pressure so from my say i look at this gray line my gray line is full but my dark line is not fully full so that means i can expand upon it so it will be visible you know in the outside world so from my emotions to my root the pressure once i feel an emotion if it's unconscious i like i won't understand why i would feel a pressure i wouldn't understand why i would feel a pressure to do this thing or to say a certain thing or even yeah it's like i would feel a certain way feel it feel a certain pressure from the emotions and i just wasn't able to connect it but looking at the chart unconsciously understand like i got it unconsciously but i just need to dig into that tap into that and then the dark line i can be able to get it done and then once I fill in this dark line from my solar plexus to my throat communication and get it out. It's all flow. It all flows into each other. But yeah, that's the basics for the dark lines, the light lines. Very basic. Again, just to help you read your chart from my perspective of somebody that understands their chart now. So it can hopefully help you read yours. So that's that. The numbers, I'm not going into them too much. And again, I already told you. These parts right here, mine are empty. So again, this is the stuff I'm strong in. The stuff that I feel in, strong in, I understand. Like I can, like I am already not stubborn. That's a bad, like not a bad connotation, but you can't move me from that at all. But again, my G center is empty or was. Sacral is empty. Motivation was empty. Yeah, I had like my ego it all just makes so much sense yeah so my ego is empty so i noticed i had to have an ego death completely i had to get that out of here because it was making me yeah stagnant and not do things because how i thought things were supposed to work because of who i was but at the end of the day i can be anybody i want at any given time any day that's what i'm learning g center love and direction again conditioning from the people i thought i loved me the most to people i found that actually love me um, of course the people some people that still love me from the past still do and it's honest and it's genuine but once i open my eyes i'm like okay so these people they do 
these new people they obviously do and i was just brushing it off these old people no just in it for themselves like once you start opening your eyes your eyes just won't be closed again so that's why a lot of people don't even want to change or to learn or to do stuff because once you see things for how they are you can't let it stay the same but change it can be hard and it is at first especially but once i get tired i learn it's just done and now that i know that and now that i learned more about my sacral and my desires i know what i want it took me forever like i just <laughs> learned what i want and then it literally as soon as i started learning and you don't have to do this part but i started manifesting it it all started coming but you can't get anything or anywhere if you don't know what you want it's just so eye-opening and interesting but yeah that's how i interpret my human design chart honestly i'm not saying you have freedom i mean it's free your human design i feel like it's supposed to set you free because it makes you not makes you it just yeah open kind of opens your eyes because you'll notice some things about yourself in this chart and then you'll notice some things that people have said to you but once you combine these things all together and then you think about certain feelings and certain things you might have been confused on honestly it'll make your life make so much more sense i was confused for years wondering why or how why i was different or even just why i felt certain ways when i didn't want to but at the end of the day it's always about what was best for me and i wasn't looking out for myself so when i looked at this chart and it made it made more sense it was like whoa yeah no so i just hope somebody else can take their chart and my explanation you know kind of a simple breakdown to be able to move on or to just grow like stagnation once you feel that and you understand that that's not cool and you see what's holding you back at the same time whether you are externally from somebody else you'll know exactly what to drop from yourself what to add to yourself what to drop personally like not personally but yeah drop relationship wise and what to pick up like eye-opening so if you're ready for change and ready for your eyes to be open then yeah i feel like this is great but if you're not maybe try it and see what you see and then maybe it will explain some things to you and help you to get ready because i wasn't ready but then once i started it's i once i seen it and started to make sense it's like okay so i am actually ready because now i'm i'm sick <laughs> like this making me like ill reading this because i know that's exactly it's exactly right and then I was living, I was living exactly wrong. So it's just great to live in your power, be creator that I'm supposed to be and do what I'm supposed to be doing at the end of the day. Whether people are happy or not, it don't really matter. Live your life. So just thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.